In Washington today, a beautiful start to the 8th annual Wounded Warrior Soldiers Ride. President Obama gave the order to begin. He called it one of his favorite events of the year. The president even got some high fives from riders as they began the three-day, 60-mile cycling event. And you're probably not aware of this, but important news, today is actually National High Five Day. And CBS and SOPAN Deb, along with Jared Blake, are celebrating in Columbus Circle here in New York City. So I don't think a lot of people are aware of the magnitude of today. You're going to have to explain this to us. Well, JV, I will tell you, National High Five Day started in 2002 at the University of Virginia when a couple of enterprising students put out a table on the student campus that said, uh, hey, it's National High Five Day, and they also handed out free lemonade, and that's how National High Five Day started. Now, here in Columbus Circle, I'm doing my own unscientific survey. We've seen a lot of fist bumps and hugs, uh, have not seen any high fives, which leads me to believe that no one knows what this is. So is no one getting angry with you? I think the most interesting thing about high fives, Sopan, are the fails. Like Tom Brady, famous for trying to high five anyone who will uh, respond and people don't, and then they get captured on viral video. Well, you, Stevie, you know, you know what the problem is when you high five someone, you always have to look in the, at their elbow. And that's how you always get the perfect high five. And a lot of people don't know that, but that's that's your tip. So we're gonna try this right now. Watch. Hey guys, do you guys know it's National High Five Day? Oh, look, you got one. I'm very Thank surprised. You. That's how you do it. I'm a specially <laughs> trained high fiver. We're gonna go around a little bit. Hey guys, so we're with CDS. It's National High Five Day. Oh, okay, they're having a meeting, so we won't go over there to interrupt mm -hmm. them. Hold on, we're gonna keep going around a little bit. Uh, hey, it's the National High Five Day. All right, all right. So you know, so I'm doing my part in educating the people, uh, and yeah. So the key is to look at the elbow. CD. I'm disappointed, Sopan. Everyone was way too friendly. I was hoping it would go very badly. That would have been more well, no. entertaining. I will tell you one story about National High Five Day. Is that when it was initially established, uh, the the founders of National High Five Day claimed that it was started by a college basketball player it, it, from the late uh, 70s. And as it turns out, that was a total hoax. They claimed that it came from a Vietnam vet who was part of a group called The Five. And that's where the High Five came from. And they used that to get publicity. Unfortunately, that was not true. And so no one knows where the High Five came from, except Max Johnson claims that he invented it when he played at Michigan State. I feel even more full of useless information than I already was before. So fan Deb with an assist from Jared Blake on camera. Great job from our CBSN team. Thank you.